Ah, I get it. Right. Forests for the trees. Just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective. Okay. I f wait. I can control this. Shrink sense. I get the feeling the guy who wrote the dialogue is a little bit crazy himself, because I don't think it actually makes very much sense. Oh wow. Clues. What's this? Recover memory. Um, okay. Like the dialogue volume is all messed up as well, like sometimes it's too loud, sometimes it's too soft. What is over here? Nothing? Alright, let's just look up. So there's the bottle over there. It's just hanging in the air like that. Okay, so can we go back to the other key areas that we can go into or not? I guess we're going to get there at some point. When shrunk, Alice will get shrink sense. There really isn't anything else to look at though. Okay. Here we go, so now we're back out here. Was this the first or the second? Okay, so I don't remember if there were any other of the, those keyhole things back this way. I guess we can't really... Oh, we can get back to here, but not up there. Alright. The platforming is actually kind of good. Like, the controls are... Aside from the camera, which is a bit odd, the movement is actually quite good. Uh, I came from there, right? Which way do I need to go now? Shrink sense isn't telling me anything useful. Okay. Was I meant to come in here or go the other way? This is the wrong way. Alright, let's go back. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Alright, so we're going into here. What else? What amazing things are we going to do next? A giant snail. Okay. Hmm. Wait, I just got three teeth. I didn't even see them. Isn't the snail going to talk to me? I guess not. Hey, hey, down here. Okay, it's not going to talk to me. Um, hmm. Nothing interesting there. That's okay. There's a mountain. There's another giant snail right there. Hmm. Okay, nothing special. Exactly what are these holes? Never mind. What is this? Wait, I just stab that guy? Really? Where do I get a... Oh, more teeth. What are those things? And why do I want teeth? Are we going to fight an enemy? Look at these plants, like they, they move. Will he? Oh, is that it? I guess not. Why I can't... Oh, I can't move the camera, but I can move myself. Oh no. Why are we sliding? Why are we sliding and collecting teeth? This is the blackboard I'm sliding on? Do I attack these things? I guess we... I, Okay. 
I think I got all the teeth. Oh, blood. Hmm. We slide through teeth and then we get to blood. Is that supposed to be some sort of symbolic message of some sort? Anyway, we can't go down. And uh, blood, yay! The trees are different. There's like um, patterns on them now. Cool. What is that? It's a it's like a it's a dragon. It's got wings. It's got four legs and a tail, and wings. The vorpal blade is swift and keen, and always ready for service. A vorpal blade. I've not come back here looking for a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. Okay. You've just obtained the Vorpal Blade. Go snick a snack, it leaves them dead, okay? Sure. It inflicts the swiftest damage to a single target at close range. You know, I think we're supposed to learn that by for ourselves. I don't think you need to tell us that. Like we can't lift mouse button to attack with the Vorpal Blade. Okay, can we do combos? We can't attack while jumping. You can't even really change direction. But you can't change direction as you're attacking. There's no combos neither. Maybe we'll learn some combos later on. Can I hold? No. Okay, so basically it's just spamming. There's no real... There's no real benefit to anything other than spamming. Okay. You can't jump attack. Really? Oh wait, can I break these? Aha! Teeth! And health, apparently. Why can I... Oh, it's still letting me look at the, the dragons that are no longer there. What else can I break? The tutorial is a little bit strange. Like, the, the level teaches you things by itself, and then the tutorial is kind of tells you things that aren't, you know, that aren't necessary. It's a bit strange. Alright, what's back here? Enemies? Here we go. Insidious Ruin. Caps lock to focus on an enemy. Why would I want to do that? Does it attack? It doesn't seem... Okay, so it's pretty slow. And, uh... I think four hits to kill it? There's more, though. Wait, left shift and dodge at any time, even with jumping. Oh, wow. Interesting. Ugly, gross, and evil in a single monstrosity. And the slow motion too when you hit things. Okay. The combat is actually kind of good. Like the combat is, is pretty smooth. And uh you know, it looks good, this random slow motions. Well not random, but when you hit things at slow motion, so it feels pretty epic. So the movement is good, the combat's good. The story is a little bit awkward, the camera is... I'm getting used to it now, I think. So that's okay. You can't hold shift, but you can spam it. Interesting. This game isn't that bad, I don't think. Maybe it gets worse later on, I don't know. 
the story is still pretty awkward. Well, yes, but the problem is you don't know what memories are productive until you find out you need it later on, you know? You think it's unproductive now, but maybe later you'll find a use for it. Alright, let's keep going. Not much combat. A lot of just running around. What, jumping, press and hold, press and hold? Okay. To further extend flow, press and hold space bar again while jumping. Okay. Press and hold. I never tried that. It's not that good. It's kind of good. It's not that good. You lose a lot of height very quickly. Okay, but I can fly. No enemies, still. Oh wait, there's teeth. Yes. Um, where are we going next? That way? Oh no, there's a thing shining over there. But can we get up here? Oh, I see. We get up here, and then we go over there. Lift shift to dodge. Why? Is there an enemy? I don't see any enemies. Why do I want a bottle? And why am I collecting teeth? Alright, so we're going over there next. Huh, these controls are kind of complicated. What is this? Okay, more bottles. Why are you collecting bottles, Alice? I wonder if there's more enemies on harder difficulties. What is that? Oh, look, teeth. What is that? Ah, it's you again, Alice. You may approach. Why would I do that? You want to eat me? Yes, well, you taught me manners, and I've lost my taste for mad women. Strictly a poor sign diet for me. Everything's better with bacon, don't you agree? Of course you do. Now, there are pig snouts scattered about. I heard a few behind the house. Go fetch them for me. But take care for the pests that block your way. Pepper them up if they do. They need spice, and you're just the dish, a girl, to season them for me. You'll find that grinder serviceable. Why not season your own pick parts? Matter of priorities. My alabaster skin needs protection from the disgusting creatures running amok amidst the environs. But one gets peckish. Look, all you have to do is listen for the oink, then shoot the snout. You may like the results. I certainly will. Your skin is not alabaster, woman. Let me take a little break. I'll be right back. Alright, so let us continue. Um, You know what? What is this? You've just obtained the Duchess's Piglet Edition Pepper Grinder. Spice up your foes. Prepare savory snouts. Right. I feel like this game is kind of decent. Wait, how do I use the... Oh, right mouse button. I see. I feel like this game is, is pretty good. It feels like the only problem so far is the story and the writing, which is a bit random. You know, like, I know I know Alice is about madness, it's about, you know, Alice in Wonderland, and this game is about madness. But there's a difference between madness and just being random. You know, usually if you are, if you're mad, it doesn't mean you're just random, you have some sort of logic. It's just a kind of logic that's different and unexpected. 
and where, you know, at, at some point, usually in, in stories involving madness, at some point you figure out why that crazy person does the things they do, and it actually makes a really weird sort of sense. And, and, and it's only, you know, wrong because they're missing one or two pieces of sanity, as it were. It's not like they're completely random and just doing random things. So far it feels like this game's just random. Wait a minute. Okay, now I need the caps lock. Can I not? Oh, caps lock. Are you kidding me? Oh wow, okay. Okay, let's do this instead. I need to break that, don't I? Well, focus, tap to switch enemies, okay. I don't think I'm ever going to get used to that, pressing caps lock to 